a record. Ten candidates have officially launched their campaigning to become president of Portugal in elections on the 24th of January. They run as independents, but the political parties can issue their recommendations. Among the frontrunners, polls favor Marcelo Rebelo de Souza to win, possibly even in the first round. He enjoys the support of the center-right Social Democrat Party. Former law professor de Souza, 67, led the PSD in the 90s and has been a popular political commentator on television for 15 years. Sampaio de Novoa is tipped as certain to make it to a second round, if there is one on the 14th of February. He has the support of the left, generally, and of three former presidents, two of them socialists. But the 60-year-old former rector of the University of Lisbon is credited with just under 17% of the Portuguese votes. Maria de Belém, 66, is also seeking votes from the left, but the Socialist Party has not given her its explicit support. Partly this is because Prime Minister Antonio Costa encouraged Novoa to enter the running, and partly also since Belém is a more conservative-leaning type of socialist. Maurice Matias is the youngest of the candidates. She's 39. A sociologist with the support of the left bloc, which is part of the alliance supporting the socialist government under Costa. The former Euro MP says she is pro-Europe, but against the weight of Berlin and Frankfurt within the EU. Edgar de Silva, 53, a former priest, is also competing for left votes with the communists' support. This party is also in the alliance, keeping a socialist government in Lisbon. The next president will succeed the conservative Anibal Cavaco Silva. The outgoing head of state was obliged to ask Antonio Costa to form a government with the combined pull of the left wing when the centre-right PSD won the most votes in October's general election but not enough to govern. In Portugal, the office of president holds significant powers such as to be able to veto laws.